Tom again here, and I'm going to discuss with you tonight's episode of Undercover Boss. Now tonight we saw a company named Foreman Mills show up, come up on the show, and basically they are a company that buys up a lot of off-season and uh, goods that name brand retailers no longer want to sell due to changes in customer tastes or uh, product has moved on to a new season. So they scoop them up from these retailers and the manufacturers super cheap and sell in their store. Generally not making too much in the way of profit but they're looking to sell on volume. Now there's nothing inherent inherently wrong with this. After all, um, you know, there's always going to be a market for something, and if uh, an item can't be sold at the original uh, suggested retail price, there will gladly be other places that can try and scoop this up and sell it cheaper. And that's what Foreman Mills does. Now, the founder and current CEO of the company, Rick Foreman, uh, came on the show, and as with most episodes of the show I suspect there's some acting going on for the cameras after all they need to try and make things appear interesting but it worries me a little bit because it shows a lot of bad things about the company that aren't exactly in the best of light and you know Foreman Mills this is this is nothing different Basically, what I took away from the show is that Rick Foreman has absolutely no fucking idea what's going on in his own company. And with 35 locations, he should be at every single location several times a year. Uh, I have uh, this you know, basic rule that uh, executives and especially CEOs of retail locations need to hit about 250 locations per year in order to be effective as far as managing their company. And with only 35 locations, there's no reason why Rick can't hit each and every single location seven or eight times each calendar year. Now that doesn't mean he needs to basically camp out in each store for a week and then move on to the next spending a week in each store uh, you know, for about 35 weeks. But he should really have a good handle on what's going on inside the stores. He should know that his employees are being paid dirt wages. He should know that uh, the equipment that they're using is antiquated and the uh, ways in which they are handling customers just don't work at all, regardless of the business. Um, so for me to see that he practically was blindsided by this shows me one or two things. It's either completely doctored and manufactured for the show or his company is in significant trouble, neither of which looks good for the company. So why a company would sign up for this, especially if they're acting, I don't know. My guess is maybe the free PR that they are essentially getting uh, from CVS. I don't really know, but companies need to be a little bit smart about this and really worry about how they're uh, showing their, their company for a lot of customers who have never heard of them. I, cert I have not heard of them before tonight, um, but it seriously would question myself wanting to go work for this company who appears to be just so clueless and so out of touch with everything. So. My recommendation for the company is to get back in touch with uh, what's going on in the stores and in their warehouses. There's a lot of low-hanging fruit that can be uh, taken advantage of and capitalized uh, for making this company a lot better. So until next time, I'll catch you later.